Helldivers 2 is unexpectedly one of the best game releases of this year, and let me tell you why. My favorite kind of games are usually story-driven games. That's what I really focus on as a content creator, and I love them for their cinematics, I love them for their story, I love them for their writing, I love them for their graphics. Everything about a story-driven game just fulfills me as a gamer. I do enjoy the odd drop into games like Fortnite and to games like Call of Duty, but I find that they can wear thin pretty quickly. Helldivers 2 seems to combine the best of both of these worlds. By no means at all is this a story-driven game, but the dialogue and the humour in the game is so on point, it brings me a level of joy that is unmatched by any of these other shooter games. I only bought Helldivers 2 because I'd heard on the grapevine that it was quite good, but I didn't have any massive expectations about it. And what really took me off guard is the initial intro, the cinematic that is mandatory viewing. In fact, if you don't watch it, it's treason. Absolutely had me howling. This tongue-in-cheek opening piece of propaganda gives you just enough information to appreciate the rest of the game in a much more significant way than if it hadn't been there. It explains the reasons why the Helldivers are going to do what they do, and essentially what we're trying to do as Helldivers is go across the galaxy, liberate planets, and spread the managed democracy that Super Earth is so proud of. What's a little bit concerning is that managed democracy as you go through the game starts to sound more and more like a fascist dictatorship. The initial tutorial gives you just enough information to learn the general mechanics of the games and the core pieces of equipment that you might need to use, but it doesn't teach you to suck eggs. What I've realised about Helldivers 2 is there is so much more to discover for yourself as you go through the game. One of the criticisms I would have of the story-driven games that I love so much is that they tend to hold your hand a little bit too much. That puts me in a position as a gamer where when I go to a game that is slightly more difficult or doesn't hold my hand to the nth degree, I'm almost always completely lost and have no sense of what it is that I'm supposed to be doing next because I've been trained by so many games over so long that I need to go in this direction, I need to do this thing, and it's all very linear. Helldivers 2 doesn't do that at all. In fact, if you have a look around the internet, there's lots of information about things that people have missed that are incredibly important to the game itself. That could be anything from the fact that resources are shared and that you don't have to kill another player to steal their sample because it's shared between the team, where you can upgrade your ship and how you get access to different stratagems. There's a whole bunch of things that aren't dictated to you, but that you get to discover as you go through the game. There are microtransactions within Helldivers 2, but they don't really feel necessary at any point. Everything that's important to you to enjoy the game is accessible for free and just by leveling up. It really is as simple as just finishing the tutorial, getting your ship and naming it, and then jumping in to fight alien bugs across the planet. Every mission you do essentially opens a multiplayer lobby. People are either gonna be joining you for a mission that you selected, or you're gonna be joining another team for a mission that they've selected. That is, of course, unless you create your own full squad and essentially the multiplayer lobby is full up from the start and you will choose the mission as the head of your ship and take the rest of your Helldivers in to kill some bugs or automatons. Oh, automatons, the kind of Terminator robots. That's the other side of the coin within Helldivers 2. On one side, you can go and fight alien bugs and on the other side, you can go and fight Terminator-style robots. The robots are significantly harder than the bugs, so I would personally recommend leveling up a little bit, making sure you've got the stratagems you need and the weapons you need before going to fight the robots. There's also a bunch of other little hidden features, things like if you hold square, you get to access different elements of the gun. That could include how the gun is fired, single shot versus auto, the power of the gun. There's a whole bunch of things like that that you just get to discover as you go through the game or as you research it, and it just brings that little bit more joy to it those other levels to it. Another level to the game is that friendly fire is on at all times. This just adds another complexity to it that you don't really think about within so many of the games. There was a situation, for example, where me and my friend were playing. I had some alien bugs behind me, terminids. He went to shoot them, but he went through me to get to them. That means although he did manage to kill the bug, he also killed me with it, and he just wrote it off as another death in service of managed democracy. 
it's not just guns that can kill you. You can be killed by a player that you've called in to be reinforcement as their hell pod drops down from the sky if it falls on you or one of your enemies, you are squished. The other nice touches to this game are things like minor injuries. You can injure your leg, which means you can't sprint. You can injure your arm, which means you can't throw or that your aim is off. There's just a whole bunch of beautiful little touches that make this game an absolute joy to play. If you like a mix of running and gunning and some objective-based targets, then this game is absolutely for you. You don't need to play it for hours and hours. You can jump in and have fun, but I promise you the hours will slip away beneath you as you play this game. It is one of those where you jump on for a single game and suddenly it's two o'clock in the morning and your wife is coming downstairs to see why you're not in bed yet. The humour that we see in the opening credits and throughout the tutorial continues to be sprinkled throughout the rest of the game. That could be anything from being on your ship and hearing a propaganda ad playing in the background, or it could be one of your fellow Helldivers shouting some managed democracy propaganda as they kill alien bugs. I don't know this for sure, but I have read this is that the bugs were originally being harvested for fuel by Super Earth and the robots were originally enslaved by Super Earth before both of those groups escaped. So although you might feel like as a Helldiver you're running around and saving other planets from the scourge of alien bugs and robots, but we go back to that core issue that we may well be the bad guys and we're fighting the good guys. So do keep that in mind, but honestly, Get this game. It is well worth it at about 30, 35 quid. It is worth every single penny. And even with the microtransactions, you're not really going to need to spend any more on the game. And it looks like they have a really decent roadmap of things going forward. I really, really recommend the game. It's so much fun. Let me know if you play it. And if you're playing when I'm on my live stream, then do come in and say hello. And maybe we can join a lobby together and spread managed democracy as a team.